this very special announcement of a collaboration between Eros Now and Microsoft. Before we dive into the future, I'd love to take a moment to reiterate all of our milestones we've made on this journey so far. Market together. In addition, we'll also be aiming at modernizing workflows and creating a lot of um, extensive, unusual customer experiences. In order for Eros now to achieve this moonshot objective, it's important for us to collaborate with an incredibly, incredibly primed, powerful technology global player. Microsoft's investments in intelligent cloud, Azure, Azure Media Services, as as well as your extensive R&D, actually give us great faith and hope that you have faith in our global niche. And on that note, this would not be possible without the empowerment of Microsoft or the formidable force that is Peggy Johnson. Before she comes on stage to speak a few words, we'd like to show you a Microsoft AV. Thank you. honored and humbled to be with you here today. And at Microsoft, um, we are just thrilled to be partnering with Eros. They've already transformed the online viewing experience for millions of users and consumers. And thank you very much for that. Um, together, we're looking forward to developing an even more intuitive video platform, one using our Azure cloud services and our media services to create a better experience and enable content delivery across devices, geographies, and languages. Um, the other thing, as Rashika said, is we will be developing more voice services, things like video search across 10 Indian languages. So each of those languages really is having a first class experience on the platform. And lastly, we'll be developing a more personalized, more customized viewing experience for each individual viewer. Together, we really have the opportunity to change the whole experience, and we are just thrilled, as I said. Thank you so much for having me here. Looking forward to partnering with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your vision on the collaboration. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to have with us on stage one of the Bollywood most handsome man. His charming personality attracts fans across generations and his phenomenal work as an actor has inspired many. He's not only a superstar in India, but has also made us proud for being a part of mega Hollywood movies. He has done TV series and is also a successful film producer. This man needs no more introduction. Let us invite on stage the Maverick star who has been bestowed with the abundant of the accolades, including two national film awards in his career spanning over the four decades. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our favorite Mr. India, Mr. Anil Kapoor. The world admires Microsoft. The world admires Bill Gates and the family and all of you all. And of course, I've heard so much about you, Peggy. And uh, we have something in common, that we both love running. So that's going to be fantastic. And, uh, and uh, so uh, welcome all of you all. And uh, thank you so much for coming. And, uh, and uh, without wasting any time, I would like to ask a few questions to both of you all. And who do I start with? Well, before we hop onto the fireside, I yeah. think uh, just because we have all the dignitaries with us, let's go ahead and have a picture of oh, all picture. of you together. Oh, picture. Picture is always there. Yeah? Okay. Yes, of course. Please come. Will you be in the middle, Peggy. Yes. Yes. Yes, she, by she, far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So future is... Your youngest at heart, though. <laughs> so, uh, Rishika, I want to ask you, in this business of digital entertainment, tell us about your journey with the Raws 
but I've been obviously I know you as a kid. I've you know you've, you were born in front of me, and uh, I've seen you grow up, and, and I came for your wedding also, right? Absolutely, okay. yes, yeah. So it's been in the last five years uh, since inception, and how technology has played a key role in uh, driving the growth of Heroes, and what has been your experience, if you can tell us, yeah. Of course. Um, the journey of Eros now has been really, really interesting. It actually came up as an idea on holiday when you're vacationing and clear-headed. That's when I think the best ideas come. I've always been an early adopter of technology. I've always been subscribed to multitudes of services. I remember the first MP3 player I had was a Nomad. Um, they were kind of discman size huge things. And I realized that a lot of these streaming now giants had actually started on the back of strong content. And at that point, there was this realization that, hey, Eros has the world's biggest Indian language library. We say we are technologically advanced, we embrace technology and leadership technology as part of our DNA when it comes to content distribution, that online distribution seemed like the best way forward and very much a natural extension of our leadership DNA within the space. But beyond a natural extension of distribution, what was really important to us was actually to start building a B2C brand versus a brand that is just there every time a film comes out. So how do you create a daily touch point with your fans and your consumers? That's only possible when you're able to build a strong platform that is incredibly personal, that houses all of the content in one place. Um, so that was essentially the vision and how it was born. In terms of the journey, it was exciting, really exciting, I think, from creating the brand to actually creating our tech teams based in San Francisco and Bangalore and Bombay. It was something we built ground up. So very much I feel like Eros now is my baby. Great. Uh, Peggy, can I ask you a question, please? Sure. sure. Okay, cool. Um, can you tell us about your role in Microsoft? Right, so I run business development at Microsoft, and you can think of it as um, the development of businesses, it's essentially growth for Microsoft, and we do that in three ways. We do it through strategic partnerships like the one we have with Arrows, we do it with investments and through acquisitions, and each one of those are meant to be sort of a way to grow inorganically, um, to sort of bend the curve of our individual units and bring something from the outside in to be a catalyst for growth. And so we look across all three um, levers and we pull whichever one is most appropriate at the time. Largely, it, it's around strategic partnerships. And um, uh, since Satya came in, we've had a real focus on on that area as partnerships and even partnering with some kind of surprising companies look like we might be a little competitive in some areas, but we usually find ways to, to cooperate and find synergies and growth for both of us. And um, I've heard you run into one. I am an HR market. <laughs> so how does that influence your uh, leadership style because, you know, I'm going extra and extra was a hobby. Yeah, it's not, um, it, it, frankly, when I started my career many years ago, um, I was always asked to be more extroverted, uh, to speak up more, uh, to be more aggressive at work. I've been in lecture for the world uh, major marathons. That's really cool, yeah. Uh, Rishika, another question is to you. How, how do you think the entertainment fraternity adopting to the new form of change and consumption? You know, I would actually like to turn that background to you. Oh. <laughs> Good move.